Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Prince and in today's video we are going to create a simple AR app in Android Studio by just following some simple steps. So let's get started. Opening Android Studio. I have created an initial project with empty activity. This is what it looks like. The first thing we are going to do is write the dependency of what we are going to use is AR scene view. It is a successor of scene form. Scene form is created by Google to create Android apps. This is this is a GitHub page of scene view. It is open sourced. The thing which we require now is just this dependency of AR scene view. You can see or read this. There's much more to read. I have so let's get started by creating a resource file. We are going to use AR scene view match parent match parent and we will give the ID scene view. One more thing we need is extended for reaction button that content ID will be place I don't know why sometimes this AR scene view doesn't provide PZU in this I don't know why place Net text to will be place. Text climate center. Let's increase X size a little bit. In SP. Witness. So we have created a layout file. Move, let's move to main activity. What we will be what we will be required is scenery. We are seeing and place button. Model node. Let's initialize one by one. Same here. Yeah. Do we have given item here? ID. One word. Then. As we're doing for a thing. R dog Let's create AR model node. There is few things you can customize as per requirement. There is like placement mode. By default it is Default placement mode, you can change it. Hit position, follow hit position, and set anchor. As a private container, is much more like oh, this is chain the sync. So let's load a JSP site. 
the AR app is majorly divided into two different parts. The first part is app itself and the second part is 3D model. We can't create 3D model in our rendered studio. So we use different 3D modeling softwares like Blender, Maya, Houdini. Personally, I prefer Blender. But for now, we don't have much time to create a 3D model from scratch. So we will use some free 3D models. And to get some free 3D models, the popular website is Sketchfab. Sketchfab. I think what people think is the major application of AR is visualizing furniture in their rooms. And that's what IKEA does. We are also going to visualize sofa in a room. I, I decided to visualize sofa in my room. You can choose what you want to visualize. So this looks nice. Let's download it. Scenview supports multiple 3D modeling models types like GLB, GLTF with animations. So let's import our downloaded GLB file in our Android Studio. Create a assets folder and create a new directory name models. Drag downloaded GLB in this created folder. Okay. where we are in our main activity this so the next step will be we have to provide our glb file location so file location glb what's the parameter can't memorize it so let's look what's the memory glb file location glb file location models what's the name of the glb so far single dot glb so now we have our 3d model in our app and the next step is going to anchor it in our space so how we are going to do that let me see the obvious is open the thing out yes so you have different things uh, which you can use as per your requirements like scale it, animate it or you can use its callbacks scene view dot pain and error dot this is equal to true and when the model is anchored Anchored on anchored at on anchor change. We are going to make a button spot. And now we have created our model node. Let's add it to our scene view. The scene view takes node as a child. So add child add was model node. So we have created our very simple AR app. We have a 3D model in our app. We have our scene view and what next? What is this thing? Make it private. So I'm make it private. So the thing, the things we have done for now is just we are we are visualizing it in AR. But to place or to get it stuck on your place, we have to just anchor it anchor like like the AR app detect your plane and you want to place the model on that plane and when you move your camera we you don't want to move the 3d model with your camera you want to be you want like the model should be stuck on your space just like your sofa or your bed in a room to do that we are going to set on click listeners place button dot on click search. set on click listeners let's create a function for that private fun place so what is what what
So to place it, let's create a private function. Place model. So what it is going to do is, it will just place your 3D model in your space. That's it. So what we are going to do model dot anchor. That's it. Then scene view dot main render dot is visible equal to false. Now we have placed a 3D, 3D model, so there is no need to visualize the plane. Let's call it here place mod. I think we have done things correct. So let's run it. 